In this episode of Cobb TV, we are going to be talking about different exercises for drummers. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic content. Now, you don't necessarily have to be in the best shape of your life to be a good drummer. I've seen tons of amazing drummers in all different shapes and sizes, but exercising the muscle groups that we use when playing the drums can definitely give you an advantage. And we're gonna talk about different exercises that target those muscle groups. But before we begin, a quick disclaimer, make sure you practice safe exercise techniques. Be sure to study the form if you're new to an exercise. Make sure you do it slow in front of a mirror to make sure you're doing it right. Drink lots of water, get plenty of rest, and eat lots of protein. That way those muscles can rebuild a lot stronger. And normally use a spotter when lifting heavy weights. Most of these exercises deal with light weights and longer repetitions, so you don't have to worry about that so much, but let's just get right into it. First, I'd like to tell a story of Ginger Baker, drummer for Cream. Before he became a drummer, he was actually practicing to be a marathon bicycle rider, and he went to a party and there was a double bass drum set up there and he sat down on the drum set and was able to play the double bass better than anyone there and he attributes his ability to do that to being able to ride marathon bicycle competitions and all that. So bicycle riding or cycling on an exercise bike 35 to 45 minutes I say because we're also going for cardio here a study was done on Clem Burke and His heart rate went anywhere between 140 to 190 BPM and burnt 600 calories in a 45 minute period which is comparable to uh, Athletes to professional athletes. So cardio is definitely one of the most important things a drummer may need especially when playing a gig a 45 minute to hour long gigs seven nights a week now our forearm is the main muscle group we're going to be targeting in this video our hands our wrists it's all connected to our forearms that's the main muscle group that we use when playing the drums so i like to do wrist curls be sure to keep your Forearms straight when doing these you can rest them on a bench if you need to and also be sure to do Your hands under the barbell and over the barbell You can also do these with dumbbells and speaking of dumbbells dumbbell rotations work out the radius ulna which we use when playing traditional grip so that's definitely another great forearm exercise. And with all these, make sure you're doing about 12 reps, four sets, and a light weight. Now, the biceps. This is another part of the arm that we use when playing the drums. Not so much as like the wrists, fingers, forearms, especially once you get into proper drumming technique, but the biceps are important and this barbell bicep curl I like to do with um, it's actually a reverse bicep curl and it just gives you a little bit of an extra forearm workout you'll definitely feel it on the top of your forearm and the triceps yes the triceps are another important exercise with dealing with drumming and uh, tricep extensions are my personal favorite but I can definitely after long gigs I can start to feel a little bit of soreness in my triceps a good soreness like a muscle burning like you know more tissue is being built and strength in the triceps are starting to get better and better and better if that makes any sense and Last but not least, the core. These are called 
mason twists or the mason twist and you're basically going to take a medicine ball and you are kind of have to have your legs elevated, your back straight and you're using your core to keep yourself balanced and you're just going left to right with a medicine ball. I like to go for about 40 repetitions, 4 sets, that's 20 on each side. You can start with 20 repetitions, 3 sets. It's kind of a harder one, but your core is one of the most important things that needs to have some strength and it's good because you rotate your torso when going around the drum set and your core keeps you balanced when working on the pedals and it helps maintain your posture which is also important and that was just a few workouts that can benefit your playing behind the drum set there are a lot out there but these are just my personal favorites so if you know any go ahead and leave a comment and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.